So in this chapter, we are going to study about is a relationship versus has a relationship. So what we are studying? We are studying is a relationship versus as a relationship. So what is the difference between is a relationship and as a relationship? Did we ever studied something called as a relationship? We actually studied that is our class and objects actually. See in the interview they will ask you two questions. What are the two ways you can reuse the code? The answer is one is by creating the object and calling. Second one is by inheriting it. So creating the object is called as as a relationship. And <clears throat> reusing the code by using inheritance is called as is a relationship. Let me repeat. There are two ways to reuse the code or to access the futures of a class. That is, one is by using inheritance. One is by using inheritance that is called as is a relationship. If you are reusing the code by creating the object, then it is called as has a relationship. Now, when it comes to designing something, uh, either we might have to make use of as a relationship or we have to make use of is a relationship. Let's say for example, let's say I have a class car. Uh, what, is, what are the favorite, you know, components, parts of the car like gear, brake, engine. So just list down some of your favorite parts in a what car. So you might have identified a seat. Some of you might have identified uh, you know, a steering or a brake, accelerator, music system, engine. And there are many different components of the car, isn't it? Now, my question is, let's say engine can be a class like there's a class engine. What do you think? Possible or not? Obviously possible, right? It can have its own properties and behavior like engine has its height, weight, dimension. It has its own what? Uh, start, stop, uh, combustion. So like these many behaviors exist. Same way, music system. Can I have can I have a class called music system? The class music system can use can have its own properties, data members, uh, such as number of buttons, uh, volume max, uh, volume min, uh, that will be set to zero, and play, uh, stop, pause, some of the behaviors like that. So Whatever the components which we uh, recognized about, about a car, <clears throat> they can be independent class altogether. They can be independent class altogether. So now in my car now, if I say, let's say extends engine, extends engine, then I can say car is an engine, one thing that's again, you know, that's look awkward. Right? That doesn't make sense in the real world. Whereas the son is a father makes sense in the real world. But uh, when you say car extends engine, yeah, you got a what? Uh, what are the properties and behavior present in the engine? You got it in car. What, what about music system if you want to have? So let's say then we'll say engine extends music system. So basically, the whole design looks awkward and we cannot make use of easy relationship to design a car. Isn't it? Instead of this, we can now object of engine. Engine E1 equal to new engine. Suppose if the car contains a music system, then you can say music system M1 equal to new music system. If it contains two music system, then more than one object. So now can I say car has got engine, car has got music system, car has got brake, car has got seat, etc. So we reuse the code. We reuse the code by creating the object. By creating the object even whenever I want to start the engine, I would call e dot start and I would have a method here. I would simply what? That method I would reuse it here whenever I want to in a start method of car. I would call e1 dot start. So like this, I'll reuse the code by creating the object. So this is called as creating the object and accessing the members is called as as a relationship. This is called as as a relationship. Is it clear? 
So one of the well-known question asked in the interview that is difference between is a relationship and as a relationship. They might not ask you the question straight forward, but they might ask you the question like this. Uh, to confuse you now, okay, let me ask you one question. Now car has got engine, car has got music system. Friend, do you agree with me? Okay. Since car has got engine, can I say car is an engine? Because engine E1 equal to new engine. So whatever is there in the engine is whatever is there in the engine is available in car now. Can I say car is an engine? Hmm? What do you think? Confusing? See, there's nothing to confuse here. I am creating an object and I'm accessing it. Then it is as a relationship, car as engine, not car is engine. Car has got music system, not car is music system. Concept is clear, you are able to understand this. So, whenever it comes to making you reusing the code using creating the object, then it is as it is not easy at all. And the other way also they will try to confuse you. Say for example, I have a class father and I have a class son. Son extends father. So whatever is there in the father is there in the son also, isn't it? So can we call son as God father? We studied that son is a father, but now the question is slightly different here. Son extends father. So whatever is there in the father is available in son. So can we call son as God father? What do you think? So again, uh, this is how they'll try to confuse you. Understand this one. Son don't have father here. What he's having? He's having properties and behavior of father. He just by extending the father, he got the blueprint of father. Whatever the father's blueprint was designed, that he got it inside. Now, you don't have an instance of father. Did we ever created an instance of father in son here? If we create an instance of father in son, Father f1 equal to new son like that. Then we can say son has got father. But son extends father. We are trying to define a relationship of is a. So we don't have instance here. By extending the father, he only got the blueprint. So we can say son is a father. If there's an instance, then we can call it as son has got father. So we cannot call son has got father here in this case. And same way, when you say engine E1 equal to new engine, we didn't get the blueprint of engine. Whatever the members present in the car, we are not getting them here. We are not getting them here. We get a in, we got an instance of engine. So one instance, an instance of a blueprint. So if car got the all the blueprints of whatever is in the engine, car also got it. And car has its own blueprint. Clubbing together, it becomes an another big blueprint. Then we can say car is an engine, car is something extra also. But here, we got an instance of engine. We haven't got the blueprint of engine. So we didn't get the blueprint of engine. We got the instance of engine. So we can say car as engine. And it is invalid statement to say car is engine. Same way, here it is invalid statement to say son has got father. But what is valid here is son is father. Same way. Car has got engine, car has got music system. That's the difference between is a relationship and as a relationship.